These are not the worms we're talking about. So I'm Jay Meyer, the general manager at Sargent's, and today we're going to talk about jumping worms. And I'm not sure who's in charge of nomenclature for the insect community, but jumping worms kind of gives it a sense that these things are jumping around, and, uh, and that, that actually kind of seems scary. At least they didn't say jumping and biting worms. But jumping worms are something that's not native to Minnesota, not native uh, to this area at all. And when they get in, into our forest soils and into the soils of our landscapes, they really do some damage. And they break down the organic matter extra fast. So they take all the nutrition out of it and they turn it into like a coffee ground like texture that erodes very quickly and it's not as good area for rooting. So jumping worms are soon to be a prohibited invasive species. And so the DNR makes that designation. And so they're really making an effort to try to, to stop the spread of jumping worms through the state. Many states through the country have jumping worms. A handful of them have kind of thrown up their arms and say, we can't control it. And they've taken it off that list. But Minnesota is still fighting the fight to try to keep it out of our forest and landscape soils. And so as you hear more about this through the years, it's gonna be important for you to know what Sargent's is doing about about that. Now Sargent's takes this very seriously. We don't take it lightly in any way. We're doing everything we can. There's not a labeled pesticide that can kill jumping worms and uh, there's not a, a really good method or technique. So we're doing a lot of the work on our end to try to experiment with different things. And we're using a tea seed meal that seems to be very effective and we use those in our containers. We use those around the property to try to prevent any jumping worm population from growing here. So if you have any questions about jumping worms, we have a knowledgeable staff here at the garden center and our, in our landscape department who would be happy to talk to you about it and answer any questions you might have. So now for the final thing, mmm, they don't taste that bad. <laughs>